Chapter 13 The Inscrutable Power of Maya Baba's words were always short, deep, full of meaning, effective and well balanced. He was ever content and never cared for anything. He said, Though I am a fakir, have no house or wife, and though leaving all care, I stay at one place. The inevitable Maya teases me often. Though I forget myself, but she cannot forget me. She always envelops me. This Maya, that's the elusive power of the Lord. Shri Hari harasses even Lord Brahma and others. Then, what is to speak of a poor fakir like me? Those who take refuge in God will be freed from her clutches with His grace. In such terms, Baba spoke about the power of Maya. Lord Shri Krishna has said to Uddhav in the Bhagavad that the saints are His living forms and see what Baba has said for the welfare of His devotees. Those who are fortunate and whose demerits have vanished, take to my worship. If you always say, Sai, Sai, I shall take you over the seven seas. Believe in these words and you will be certainly benefited. I do not need any paraphernalia of worship, either eightfold or sixteenfold. I rest there where there is full devotion. Now read what Sai did for the welfare of those who surrendered themselves to him. Bhimaji Patil One Bhimaji Patil of Narayan Gao, Taluka Junnar, District Pune, suffered in the year 1909 from a severe and chronic chest disease, which ultimately developed into tuberculosis. He tried all sorts of pathis, that's remedies, but to no effect. Losing all hopes, he ultimately prayed to the God, O Lord Narayan, help me now. It is a well-known fact that when our circumstances are well, we do not remember God. But when calamities and adversities take over us, we are reminded of Him. So Bhimaji now turned to God. It occurred to him that he should consult Mr. Nana Sahib Sandulkar, a great devotee of Baba in this respect. So he wrote a letter to him, giving all details of his malady and asking his opinion. In reply, Mr. Nana Sahib wrote to him that there was only one remedy left and that was to take recourse to Baba's feet. Relying on Nana Sahib's advice, he made preparations for going to Shirdi. He was brought to Shirdi and taken to the masjid and placed before Baba. Mr. Nana Sahib and Shama, that's Madhavra Deshpande, were present there. Baba pointed out that the disease was due to the previous evil karma and was not disposed to interfere. But the patient cried out in despair that he was helpless and sought refuge in him and he was his last hope and prayed for mercy. Baba's heart melted and he said, Stay cast off your anxiety. Your sufferings have come to an end. However oppressed and troubled one may be, as soon as he steps in the masjid, he is on the pathway to happiness. The fakir here is very kind and he will cure the disease and protect all with love and kindness. The patient used to vomit blood every five minutes, but there was no vomiting in the presence of Baba. From the time Baba uttered the words of mercy, the malady took a favorable turn. Baba asked him to stay in Bhima Bai's house, which was not a convenient and a fit place, but Baba's order had to be obeyed. While he was staying there, Baba cured him by two dreams. In the first dream, he saw himself as a boy suffering the severe pain of a flogging which he received for not reciting his poetry lesson before his class master. In the second dream, someone caused him intense pain by rolling a stone up and down over his chest. With the pain thus suffered in dream, his cure was complete and he went home. He then often came to Shirdi, gratefully remembering what Baba did for him and prostrated before him. Baba also did not expect anything from devotees but remembrance, unwavering faith and 
devotion. People in Maharashtra always celebrate Satya Narayan Puja in their homes every fortnight or month. But it was this Bhima Ji Patil who started a new Sai Satya Vrat Puja instead of Satya Narayan Vrat Puja in his house when he returned to his village. Bala Ganpat Shimpi Another devotee of Baba by the name Bala Ganpat Shimpi suffered much from a malignant type of malaria. He tried all sorts of medicines and decoctions. But in vain, the fever did not abate a jot. And so he ran to Shirdi and fell at Baba's feet. Baba gave him a strange recipe. In his case as follows. Give a black dog some morsels of rice mixed with curd in front of the Lakshmi temple. Bala did not know how to execute this recipe. But no sooner he went home than he found rice and curd. After mixing them together, he brought the mixture near the Lakshmi temple where he found a black dog waving its tail. He placed the curd and rice before the dog. The dog ate it. And strange to say, Bala got rid of his malaria. Bapu Sahib Bhuti Srimad Bapu Sahib Bhuti suffered once from dysentery and vomiting. His cupboard was full of patent drugs and medicines. But none of them had any effect. Bapu Sahib got very weak on account of purgings and vomiting and therefore was not able to go to the masjid for Baba's darshan. Baba then sent for him and made him sit before him and said, Now take care. You should not purge any more. And gestured with his index finger. The vomiting must also stop. Now, look at the power of Baba's words. Both the maladies disappeared and Bhuti felt well. On another occasion, he had an attack of cholera and suffered from severe thirst. Dr. Pillai tried all sorts of medicines and remedies but could not give him any relief. Then he went to Baba and consulted him as to what to drink that would allay his thirst and cure the disease. Baba prescribed an infusion of almonds, walnuts, pistachio, a kind of a dry fruit, boiled in sugared milk. This would be considered a cause of fatal aggravation of the disease by any other doctor or physician. But in implicit obedience to Baba's order, the infusion was administered and strange to say, the disease was cured. Arandi Swami A Swami of Alandi with a desire for Baba's darshan came to Shirdi. He suffered from severe pain in his ear which prevented him from getting sleep. He was operated for this but it served no purpose. The pain was severe and he did not know what to do. While he was returning, he came to take Baba's leave. When Shama, that's Madhavra Deshpande, requested Baba to do something for the pain in the Swami's ear, Baba comforted him saying, Allah acha karega. God will do good. The Swami then returned to Pune and after a week sent a letter to Shirdi stating that the pain in his ear had subsided, though the swelling was there and in order to get the swelling removed, he went to Mumbai for operation. But the surgeon on examining the ear said, that the operation was not necessary. Such was the wonderful and potent effect of Baba's words. Kaka Mahajani Another devotee named Kaka Mahajani suffered once from diarrhea. In order that there should be no break in his services to Baba, Kaka kept a tambya, that's a pot with water, in some corner of the masjid. And whenever there was a call, he would go out. As Sai Baba knew everything, Kaka did not inform him of his disease, thinking that Baba would on his own cure it soon. The work of constructing the pavement in front of the masjid was permitted by Baba. But when the actual work began, Baba got wild and shouted out loudly. Everybody ran away. And as Kaka was also doing the same, Baba caught hold of him and made him sit there. In the confusion that followed, somebody left a small pouch of groundnuts there. Baba took a handful of groundnuts, 
rub them in his hands blew away the skins and gave the clean nuts to kaka and made him eat them scolding and cleaning the nuts and making kaka eat them went on simultaneously baba himself ate some of them then when the nuts were finished baba asked him to fetch water as he was thirsty kaka brought a pitcher full of water then baba drank some water and made kaka also drink it baba declared now your diarrhea has stopped and you may attend to the work of the pavement in the meanwhile other people who had run away returned and started the work and kaka whose motions had stopped also joined them are groundnuts medicine for diarrhea according to current medical opinion groundnuts would aggravate the disease and not cure it the true medicine in this as in other cases was baba's word datto pant of harda a gentleman from harda by the name datto pant suffered from stomach ache for about 14 years none of the remedies gave him any relief then on hearing baba's fame that he cures diseases by sight he ran to shirdi and fell at baba's feet Baba looked at him kindly and gave him blessings. When Baba placed his hand on his head and gave him udi with blessings, he felt relieved and there was no further trouble about the malady. Towards the end of this chapter, three cases are cited in footnotes. Madhavrao Deshpande suffered from piles. Baba gave him a decoction of sona mukhi, that sena pods. This relieved him. Then, after two years, the trouble reoccurred, and Madhurot took the same decoction without consulting Baba. The result was that that the disease aggravated, but later on it was cured by Baba's grace. Second, Kaka Mahajani's elder brother, Gangadhar Pant, suffered for many years from stomach pain. Hearing Baba's fame, he came to Shirdi and requested Baba to cure him. Baba touched his belly and said, "God will cure." From that time there was no stomach pain and he was completely cured. Third, Nana Saheb Sandolkar also once suffered from acute stomach pain. He was restless the whole day and night. Doctors administered injections which produced no effect. Then he approached Baba who told him to eat barfi, a kind of a sweet meat mixed with ghee. This recipe gave him complete relief. All these stories show that the real medicine that cured the various diseases permanently was baba's word and grace and not any medicines or drugs bow to shri sai peace to all om sai ram